Hello, Sagittarius viewers. So, I'm going to look into what your person is feeling, thinking, what they're wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next week or two. Let's just see where they're at. So, for the Sagittarius viewers, what is the story regarding your love life? Please ask the messages be clear and direct. What is what is your person thinking, feeling? What are they wanting with you? Just show me their thoughts and feelings regarding this connection. What is what are they thinking? What are they feeling? What are they what do they want with you? What's what what's the story here? Let's see. Ten of Swords, the wheel. So you're coming out of that energy, or they're coming out of that energy. That's good. Two of Wands, Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands reversed. Page of Swords, and the Star reversed. Okay. Okay, let's see. So with the Ten of Swords and the wheel here, I feel like this is either you or them. Somebody is just coming out of this period of depression and just stagnant energy. It's like the end of a cycle. I feel like your person also had the tower moment too because we keep getting that energy in these readings that your person is, is very... They've been very emotionally unavailable in the past. And, you know, I think it was like two readings ago we took a deeper look into why they were that way. Um into their their fears regarding commitment into you know the things in their past that made them the way that they are that made them afraid to commit to you or anything else in their life for that matter um but they're realizing that they want more security they want home they want family they want more than what they've had in the past they want to get through those commitment issues and I think the last reading we did, it was still a progression of them working through the commitment issues, but they're wanting your help with that. They're wanting your your support and your love, um, wanting to come back around and give you much more than they've given you in the past. So with the, the Ten of Swords here in the wheel... They might have gotten a taste of their own mess, and if they kind of hurt you or ghosted you in the past, they might have had that done to them, and they're starting to have more empathy and starting to realize what that feels like. Um, but there's some kind of energy here that it's like there's like some kind of pain or depression or betrayal, and that that cycle is closing out. I think it taught them more empathy. It taught them they're just working through that. They've been having this these kind of breakdown that they've been going through basically. I think they are with the two of wands and the eight of wands here. I think they are making this decision to come forward for you. They are looking at this connection and they are. And if you see her, she's looking at a skull. So it's like she's looking at something that's like dead, but it's like she or he is wanting to revive it. They're wanting to see if this can, you know, if they can come back in. This might be somebody that you haven't talked to in a while or somebody who's kind of been hot and cold in the past. Um, with the eight of wands, it's like they have this, this, you know just forward motion and vitality and just this passionate energy this you know typical fire sign energy basically and they're wanting to come forward and cement things in a more with a more long-term approach you know they want to do it differently than they've done it in the past and they might be kind of waiting to make sure that they can do it right this time around with the ten of wands reversed i feel like they had so much weight on their shoulders before it could be like societal expectations or just putting pressure on themselves. I feel like they, they were in their head a lot about like, I feel like this person is a deep thinker. I, th I think that they, they kind of get in their head a lot. And so I think they overanalyzed and thought of every reason not to commit to you or not to commit to anything, to anyone in general. You know what I mean? And I think the tower moment came in and just shook them up and made them, it like broke them down and now they're rebuilding themselves, I feel. You know, the Ten of Wands reversed. It's like upright, the Ten of Wands would be like all this this pressure, this, you know, having the weight of the world on your shoulders. And I feel like they were putting that weight on themselves. Like they were overanalyzing things. They were scaring themselves when it came to commitment. They were overthinking things. It might have been someone with commitment issues. Like you're just hanging out and you, I don't know, you just say the simplest thing and they, they run with it. They overanalyze it and they think that you're trying to have babies with them. You know, like their commitment issues seem kind of severe. 
um, or at least they used to be. You know, it seems like there might have been some ghosting or some hot and cold energy in the past. And they're letting go of this this weight. That it's like this weight that they put on themselves, you know, overanalyzing things, worrying about things, being afraid of living their life, being afraid of committing, being afraid of just, just, this, just this mentality they had where they were just so independent, but like to a fault, you know, where they felt like they were the only ones that they had, like they could only rely on themselves. They couldn't let anybody else in. They were so guarded and so distrusting and they're just letting go of all that weight, all that stagnant energy that was just holding them down. They're they're getting into this page of swords energy. Um, it could be it could be a message coming in for you too. It could be like kind of a, like a hey, how are you message? Like they're not sure what to say yet, but they do want to communicate. They know it's been a, maybe for some of you it's been quite a while since you guys have talked. With the um the star reversed here. I think they're wanting to plant the seeds, but they're like afraid that you're not going to have it. So they're like, they're, the desire is there. They're just, they're not sure if you're going to take them back or not. They don't know what's going on with that. Um, let's look more in depth into this connection. What else? Let's focus on a specific question, actually. Uh, are they going to reach out? Is this person going to reach out soon? Like, what's going on with that? What's going on with communication? Are they planning on messaging what do they want to do yeah oh 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 choice we have oh yeah we have choices and then we have message loyalty conclusion individuality fulfillment differences Can I get a clarification card on conclusion? So, yeah, with choices and message, it's like they're making that choice to send this message. I think they're just kind of, I feel like it's been a while since you guys have talked. They're just kind of nervous. They don't know what to say. They don't, they know that there's no excuse for their behavior. They're trying to figure out how to, how to do this. Um, can I get a clarification card or two on conclusion? So what's concluding is this kind of game player type energy that they were in before where they were playing games. I don't think that they, they wouldn't be like a player necessarily. I just think that they, they're just the commitment issues and how they manifested. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I think that they, they just kept things on a surface level too much, you know? And with the playful card reversed, it's like they're they're taking this connection more seriously now. They're taking you more seriously now. I think that as they're getting older too, they're starting to think like, okay, I don't wanna I don't wanna be in my forties or fifties or sixties and be alone. You know what I mean? Like I want love. I want my person. I, I don't wanna, you know, just mess around with different people my whole life. I don't want to play games my whole life. I, you know, they're lonely. They're wanting a real deep connection. They're wanting something more solid. And so that that playful, that, you know, player type, I don't know if it's a player type energy, but that, you know, not committing and going, messing around with other people and doing this and that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that energy is ending. And they're getting into this, this moon energy, this more intuitive a more spiritual, deeper energy. They're they're taking their life more seriously. They're taking their you know their love life particularly more seriously. They're wanting that stability and that family connection. You know they're wanting something that they haven't had before. And so that old cycle, that old energy they were in, even if it lasted a long time, that that cycle was finally ended. I think. Like I said, I think they might have had a taste of their own medicine. There might have been something that happened, like where they got screwed over. Or there's just, there's something that's making them think on a deeper level lately. You know, the past few months, there's something that's kind of making them, kind of hitting them and giving them these epiphanies and making them think like, like I need more out of life. I need more out of relationships. I need more out of love. I need more stability. I need more depth. I need more heart to heart talks. I need more passion. I just need more of my life. I can't just move from place to place or job to job or person to person anymore. I want more than this I want there's got to be more to life than this um 
And I think they have the sense of loyalty to, to, to who they are as an individual. I think that they're really starting to be their true selves finally, where as before it's like they kind of put on this facade and now they're, they're really finding themselves again and, and being more true to themselves and that's bringing them fulfillment. I think they're being loyal to you too as an indiv individual. And I think that they're setting you apart from the rest. I think they're realizing that you're different than other people. I think that they're... Um, I think that they're seeing differences that maybe you guys had that they weren't before they were using these differences as an excuse not to commit like, oh, there's religious difference or, or differences or spiritual differences or this person is more serious or more deep than me or more this, more that or less that, less this, blah, blah, blah. But they, they know that they were just in denial about the connection. They know that they were just making stupid excuses to not commit to you. Um, they know it was just fear-based patterns. They know it was just their fear and their anxiety and their subconscious patterns and def defense mechanisms and commitment issues, you know what I mean? So they're starting to look at the differences that you guys have in a new light. They're starting to realize like, okay, so what if this person does have religious differences? That's kind of interesting. I can learn about a new religion. They can learn about my religion. We can find, we can compromise. We can find a balance or just personality differences like you're more outgoing or less outgoing or this or that they're like you know what this could actually like we could balance each other out you know yin and yang soulmates twin flames like they're they're looking at these differences in a much better light they're 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 letting go of the they're they're more mindful now i think before they would just make excuses not to commit and now they're kind of catching themselves when they start making those excuses they're like you know what that's not a good reason not to commit to the love of my life like that doesn't make any sense <clears throat> that's just my fear i just started coughing and choking i think there's throat chakra blocks that they have too so they might be having a hard time communicating still Ugh. <clears throat> god damn okay sorry sorry <clears throat> shit Ew. <clears throat> oh my god what is that I'm sorry. Shouldn't take the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> sorry. All right. What else? What are the final messages regarding this connection? What else do we want to say about the connection? What do we need to know? Like, what is this person going to do? Okay, so they, they're, they were having all these, these epiphanies, these life changes. They're working. They've been working through their commitment issues finally. They're really introspective and really working on themselves. Um, might have some throat chakra blocks that need to be cleared up. Because they're not, they're scared of talking to you. They're scared of what you're going to say. Uh, but what, what's what's going on? What else? What are the final messages regarding this connection? Like, what is, what else do we need to know about this connection? Like, are they going to come forward? Are they going to talk? What are they going to do? Like, like, come on now, Sagittarius. Sorry, we're, you know, ugh, God. Listen to me. I'm all, like, flustered. It's like, that's how they are. They're all freaking flustered up. Ugh. It's not even a fucking word, is it? Flustered up. I don't even know what I'm saying. That's how they feel around you. <laughs> it's not bad energy. It's just kind of saying what they feel. Right here. The sun, four of pentacles, three of swords, the devil, nine of pentacles reversed, ace of pentacles, justice, and nine of wands. Yeah, with the sun, they're looking forward and they're trying to really, they're they're more spiritual and they're more emotionally deep than they used to be. I mean, I think they were always that way and you always saw that in them. You always saw that side of them. You always saw um, their depth, but they, they hide it from most people, I think. And they kind of try to focus on the, the material world a lot, but I think that they're with the sun, it's like they're looking forward with this, you know, see how, how elegant she is with this, this flower coming down too. It's like this spiritual, emotional, elegant kind of energy. This person is, your person is just kind of, you know, looking forward to the future. They're, they're, they're spiritual, they're open-minded, they're emotional, they're, they just, they want family, they want the heart-to-heart -heart talks, they want something different than what they've had in the past. I think the Four of Pentacles energy, like, wealth and greed and obsession with finances and with their physical appearance 
Um, they might have even come off as narcissistic to some people because they were so insecure that they were just focusing on their physical appearance a lot. But you, you saw through that. You saw their insecurities. You realized that they really did have a big heart. That they really are a good person, that they're just guarded and scared and distrusting. Like you, you always saw the good in them. You brought out the good in them. You saw through to the core, you know. <clears throat> With the Four of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, that, that wealth, that greed, you know, focus on appearance, on things that are shallow, on financial obsession, on partying on um hookups you know sleeping around with different people maybe uh just appearances just focus on like on finances and appearances and just shallow worldly things it just brought them nothing but pain it brought them just three of swords it's like they felt alone because they weren't being them true selves they were so out of touch with themselves and you're the only person that really brought that side of them out you're the only person that they really felt at home with you know the only person that they could deeply connect to with everybody else it's like they just they put on this front and everybody just bought the front that they put on and they had all these shallow connections around them but it's like they were always longing for something deeper and more real but they were just so afraid to go after it and so afraid to commit to it and with the devil energy here it's like they they have that that codependency on the material world and codependency on just all these these patterns the the that go along with the commitment issues you know what i mean like the focus on the on the material world that that is part of the commitment issues it's it's not letting things get too deep even though they are a deep person it's um just sleeping around but not letting people get in too close even though they really long for those deep connections um so there's this devil energy that they still have to work through that they're currently working through um, is, is letting go of all that energy, letting go of everything that's not them, letting go of just all the superficial crap that they, they, and the facades and just all of that, all the fake people, the fake friends, just letting go of all of that finally. They're working through that devil energy. And with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, it's kind of like they're, like the things, you know, upright would be like reward after good harvest. But I think that the things that they were working towards, all the things that they were working towards, they realized mean nothing to them in the end. Like, like with finances or just like all these fake friendships that they might have where they're just, that they're loved for who they pretend to be and not loved for who they actually are. Um, just all these like false fake connections, all this like this materialistic shallow kind of um goals that they had in the past you know the nine of pentacles upright would usually be like reward for those for for working towards that but it's like it's upside down so it's like they don't want that stuff anymore they kind of even if they were working towards it for a while they don't really want that anymore they want something different now they're they're being them their true selves finally they're a different person now <clears throat> So the things they wanted in the past, they don't want anymore. And now they're wanting the things that they ran from in the past, like the family, the home, the stability, the true love. They're finally focusing on those things. They're finally, you know, they're just, they're very vulnerable right now. They, they really want that. With the Ace of Pentacles, they're, you know, it's a new beginning. It's, it's planting new seeds. It's this new foundation. And I think their strength and faith is going to be rewarded in the end. I think that they're... They're, you know, they're cutting out the, the, the fake friends and maybe even fake family members. They're cutting out all the things that no longer serve them. They're cutting out the, they're working on themselves really hard right now. They're working on ending these old toxic patterns. They're working on being a better person. They're working on not sleeping around with a bunch of different people. They're working on, um, on being loyal, on being a good person, on being stable, on being the kind of person they want to be, the kind of person they would want their kids to be. And they have justice coming in because their guides realize they do have a big heart. They are a good person. Um, they, you know, they're, you and their guides have always seen through the facades, of course. And you've always seen their heart. You've always known who they really are. And they know that. This person knows that you're the one person they can be safe with, the one person they can be their true selves with, the one person they feel at home with. Um, and so with the nine of wands, it's like they have to be strong and they have to be true to themselves and they have to have faith. Um, but if they do that, then they have justice coming in. They do have the, the, the second chance at home and love and stability probably with you, I would say. Um, all right, let's get a few more cards really quick. Is this person going to reach out soon? Let's, what is, what's going on with that? Is this person going to reach out soon? 
I want to know that is what I want to know. Ooh. Okay. I don't know why Queen of Cups is reversed. I think so. It looks like it. We got the Queen of Cups reversed, the Queen of Swords upright, and the King of Wands, and then the Lovers. I think it's kind of saying that maybe in the past they've seen you as the Queen of Cups, which is like somebody who's nurturing and motherly and loving and empathetic and kind and kind of wears their heart on their sleeve. You know, somebody has, if you look at this energy, they see you as somebody who's like, it's like somebody who's waiting for them, you know, and I think they took that for granted, but they love that about you. Like you need to be yourself with them. You can't have a relationship with this person unless you can be your true self. And I think your true self is the queen of cups. So you do want to be your true self, but you're balancing this energy with the queen of swords energy. So yes, you're being your true self, but you're also not making it too easy for them. You're not just like, you're setting boundaries with them, finally. You know, you're not just letting them pop in and out whenever they feel like it. You're like, yes, I love you. I care about you. You're important to me. You're emotional. You're emotionally available with them. You're open with them. You're willing to have the heart-to-heart -heart talks, but you're also strong and confident. And if they are not giving you what you deserve, you're willing to cut them out and you let them know that. Your energy lets them know that, that you're not going to tolerate this that bullshit again. Um, so with the Queen of Cups reversed, it's kind of like... They don't see you as somebody that's waiting for them anymore. They don't see you as somebody that they have on lockdown anymore. They don't see you as somebody that they can just come in. They don't see you as someone they can just come in and out of your life whenever they want. You know, they're seeing you in this more like queen of swords energy where it's like you're logical and you're confident and you're independent and you're just fine without them. You're, you're fine with or without them. You're going to live your life no matter what. You know, she's got her sword. She's very, she's just very strong. She doesn't need him or her. You know, she doesn't need this person anymore. She's kind of just focused on herself. She's focused on her own life. She's got her own things going on. And I think that kind of helps a little bit because with the Queen of Cups energy, it's almost like that, it's like that made him happy. It wasn't like, I mean, he did take it for granted in the past. He or she took it for granted. I do feel that. But it's like it made them, it did make them happy, but it scared them because they got, it's got so deep so quick and they're like, you know, wanting marriage or wanting a future with you. And it just freaked them out that they feel that strongly about you, you know, like that love that your vulnerability, your openness with them, your emotion, it just scared them. And so it's kind of easing them into it that you're in this queen of swords energy because they know that deep down you're still the queen of cups. They know you're still that person, but they know they don't have you on lockdown anymore. They know that you're also, that you have this, they're seeing this other side of you that they didn't see before, that they weren't maybe aware of before. And now they're like, holy shit, this person actually is logical and confident and strong and they don't need me. They're not on lockdown like I thought they were. They're, they're more independent than I realized they were in the past. You know, it's that kind of energy. Um, and you're very, you're on top of this. You're very smart. And so you know how to balance the Queen of Swords with the Queen of Cups energy. Because remember, even though he took that energy for granted, the Queen of Cups energy, he still loves that about you. That makes you who you are. He loves your empathy and your spirit and your heart and your kindness and and just the way your mind works the way that you are he loves those things about you so you don't want to pretend like those aren't there you want that you want those qualities you want to keep being who you are you know this is if this is the right person for you then he or she is going to love you for who you are like you need to be your true self with this person but you're balancing your true self with this other like kind of um more I mean, this is you too, in a way, you know, this is, you're logical, you're confident, you're independent too. You're, you're just, you're finding a good, you're, 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 uh, you're, you know what you're doing, I think, with this connection. Like, you, you know, you're on top of it. You know how to have this balance between the Queen of Cups side of your personality and the Queen of Swords side of your personality. Like, you know when to bring out the Queen of Swords and you know when to bring out the Queen of Cups. Like, when he's behaving, he or she's, you know, treating you well, then you match their energy and you're bringing out the queen of cups energy and you're reciprocating their love when they're not when they're distant you're just doing your own thing they can be distant somewhere else you're not worrying about it you know you're matching their energy more you're not giving you're not giving them more than you're receiving ever again you know you're on top of it more so just keep 
like, yes, you want to give this person the safe space and you want to be emotional and open with them, but you also want to keep this Queen of Swords energy too and keep them on their toes and kind of um, set boundaries with them when they come back around. But we do have the lovers here, so it is somebody who's like, you know, look at this energy. It's like confident. It's assertive. It's like they are they are wanting to come back through with that message. And you being in the Queen of Swords energy and this fear of losing you is really helping them do that. It's helping them wake up. Is there anything anything else we need to know about them sending a message? Just any quick little... Yeah, light after this is this one particularly means um it's like the light after the darkness. So yeah, they're taking this vow, I think, of of loyalty and stability and offering you something offering it's more of a serious energy. You know, you see how serious this knight is. It's like he's giving he's offering something up, you know, to the high priestess, to this intuitive, powerful, seductive woman. And the high priestess kind of is like half queen of cups, half queen of swords. That's who you are. That's your personality. You're the best of both worlds. You're masculine and feminine. You're emotional and, and empathetic and soft and loving and kind, but you're also strong and intuitive and powerful, and they know that. And so, yeah, it looks like with the page, there might be a, a passionate, emotional message coming in here. So it's good energy. Yeah, definitely. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe and yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you want to book a private reading, my email address is below. Thank you.